Hi there, bonjour les amis. It's been a while since I've made an entremet, the French name for mousse cake. And I thought about making something of the hook using one of my favorite French cookies. Guess what? I am so amazed with the result. Check this out. A beau gâteau made with a refreshing lemon mousse and a succulent strawberry insert. Hey, I am Bruno Albouze. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. so we've got a little bit of work ahead. So I'm gonna build this cake upside down. So you're gonna have to seal the bottom cake ring with plastic wrap and tie it up all around. And I'm gonna line it with cake color. Cake color will hold in your fillings and make removal easy. It also extends the height of the cake when needed. Next in the agenda, Papa, I'm going to make the strawberry insert. So I'm going to heat up some of my frozen strawberries I have saved in the freezer and puree back to the saucepan. Then I'm going to stir in the sugar pectin mixture, bring to a boil, cook for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to add some chopped strawberries. Remove from the heat, stir in the softened gelatin, and add a splash of rose water if you wish. Fill up a tart ring that is about one inch smaller in diameter than the cake, and freeze for a few hours. To follow, I'm gonna make the lemon curd. That is going to be the base for our lemon mousse. So, I'm gonna start zesting a couple of lemons, extract the juice, and then I'm gonna throw in a saucepan uh, the eggs, uh, sugar, set on medium heat, and bring that up to a boil, whisking constantly. So, so far, it's basically the same lemon curd you would use for your lemon pie. So, when it gets to a boil, remove from the heat, and wait for a few minutes. Add cold butter and transfer the lemon curd to a narrow container. That way, it's gonna be way easier to mix. Give a good emulsion and set aside. Meanwhile, I'm gonna demold the frozen strawberry insert and put it back in the freezer. Right after that, I'm gonna take care of the glaze. So, in the saucepan, I'm gonna bring to a boil water, sugar, and corn syrup, or glucose. Add the condensed milk and remove from the heat. Then I'm gonna throw in there the softened gelatin and the white chocolate. Blend well, pass through a sieve, and refrigerate overnight. As you may remember, Madeleine butter is sometimes used in cake making, and this fraisier is a great example. So for this lemon mousse cake, I chose to use plain madeleine cookies. Though if you don't want to make a batch of madeleine for that purpose, you can definitely use something else, such as ladyfingers, biscuits viennois, dacquois, your take. Back to our lemon mousse cake. So, you want to transfer the lemon curd to a large pastry bowl and check the temperature. And you want the temperature to be around 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 Celsius. In between, I am going to whip the whipped cream to medium peaks. And meanwhile, I am going to warm up some lemon juice with the softened gelatin. Add the melted lemon gelatin mixture to the lemon curd and then the whipped cream. So, the idea the texture of a mousse while making it should rather be quite supple. Keep in mind, baking is an accurate science. All right, so now I'm gonna build this cake and see what happens. So fill cake ring half the way full, place the frozen strawberry insert right in the center, and finish the cake with the remaining lemon mousse and madeleine. Once finished, you want to even out the surface of the cake. To do so, cover with a piece of plastic and a flat tray, and place the cake in a freezer overnight, or for up to three months. When you are ready to glaze, remove the plastic, 
flip the cake and warm up the edges of the cake ring with a hair dryer. And don't forget to remove the acetate color as well. And put the cake back in a freezer until ready to glaze. Then warm up the lemon glaze to 1 hour 4 Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. Glaze the cake, run a spatula on top to remove excess glaze and finish the cake with madeleine bottoms and uh, lime zest. I hope guys you have enjoyed this one of a kind lemon mousse cake. To get the full recipe, go to my website brunoalbouze.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my uh, cooking channel and website and sign up in order to get my free ebook. Have a beautiful day, bon appetit and see you very soon. Taste should always come first. The only way to taste it is to make it.